When the semi-truck was unveiled in 2017, it attracted a lot of fans and detractors. Finally, after several delays, the Tesla semi-truck is ready to hit the road. How will this truck turn out, and what makes it better than the generic diesel-fueled trucks? Keep watching till the end to know the answers to these questions and discover just how massive the batteries are. People have expressed their fears about the practicality of battery-powered trucks, and one would think that Tesla should have been discouraged from manufacturing a battery-powered truck. If there's one thing we're sure of, it's that Elon Musk doesn't take no for an answer. Ever since we can remember, he has perpetually come up with seemingly otherworldly ideas and has made those ideas into reality. When Elon says something, he will most likely live by it. Naturally, the various means of transportation have evolved over the years. Humanity has gone from riding horses on land to flying planes in the air. The bedrock of commerce is transportation, and with that comes the need to transport goods and services from one place to another. However, we have not ceased to find better options for transporting goods. In recent times, the job of hauling goods across the country has been regulated to trucks. They pass through countless routes, moving both finished and unfinished goods. These trucks are usually powered by diesel, and although they provide an essential service, they don't erase the fact that they are one of the huge sources of greenhouse gases polluting the environment. As much as possible, we're trying to move the Earth to a less polluted space for everyone. According to the Environmental Protection Agency in the United States, transportation happens to be the biggest contributor to the emission of greenhouse House gases. Medium to heavy trucks alone were responsible for a quarter of 29% of total emissions from transportation in 2019. Being a strong advocate for zero emission mobility, it was only a matter of time before Elon Musk found some solutions that will reduce pollution. Elon Musk came up with an electrified truck powered by electric motors instead of the fume-producing internal combustion engine. Although Tesla has enjoyed tremendous success with electric cars in the past, this was no doubt an uncharted territory for the company. But the Tesla Semi is, by all means, a brilliantly designed truck, constructed after putting a lot of things into consideration. The Tesla Semi truck is a Class 8 hauler, which puts it in competition with most of the powerful trucks we have in the freight industry. The Semi is capable of anything you can throw at a generic diesel power truck, and even much more. So think about it, anything from cars to farm produce, to even supermarket supplies, you name it. This truck will transport them fast, and thanks to the combination of different high-end engineering points, the semi-truck is powered by four highly efficient electric motors. Each one is located on the tire hub. Interestingly, these electric motors can function differently, and this just gives the truck a tangible amount of leverage over other trucks. Although the semi-truck is heavy, when loaded up to 80,000 pounds, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 20 seconds, which is about 3 to 5 times faster than the average diesel rig. This is about the most unthinkable thing in the world of trucks. For now, Tesla is yet to release the top speed of the semi-truck, but it can reach up to 60 miles per hour when going up a 5% incline. If the truck isn't loaded, it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour within just 5 seconds. For now, Tesla has not released the figures on the total horsepower or pound-feet of torque, but it's something we can deduce by doing some simple calculations. Reportedly, the motors of the semi-truck are the same ones used for the Tesla Model 3. An independent dynamometer test of the Model 3 motors showed that they produced up to 300 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque. Now, recall that the Tesla semi-truck has four of these motors, and if we discount a little for losses that occur when the motors are linked, we should be expecting a minimum of 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 pound-feet of torque. Besides the powerful electric motors, Tesla has designed the semi-truck to have a low drag coefficient with its smoothly designed front. Several Elon Musk fans claim that the truck's drag coefficient of 0.36 gives more improved aerodynamics than a Bugatti Chiron supercar. The exterior of the Tesla semi-truck is quite impressive, with the nose being short and rounded and a tall curved windshield that allows air to flow around the truck rather than smashing into it. The outlook of the semi-truck gives off a mixture of Darth Vader and Imperial Stormtrooper helmet kind of look. Although it looks impressive, the real benefit of this look is the heightened speed and extended range of the truck. As far as range is concerned, Tesla has received a lot of questions about how far this truck can go, considering it's electric, which puts it at a great disadvantage. Trucks travel across countries on very long distances, and sometimes the generic diesel-powered truck has to worry about fueling along the way. So how much more does an electric truck? Chargers are not as 
as readily available as gas stations. Doubters believe that it's not feasible to design an electric truck with a practical range mainly because of the energy requirement. The majority also believe that the truck would never get enough range to be competitive. Naturally, trucks are heavy, and the semi-truck will require a large battery pack. The weight of the battery pack will be heavy enough to impede the driving range of the truck significantly. Tesla happens to have the perfect solution for this problem. Thanks to multiple modifications, Tesla has been able to come up with a new 4680 battery that weighs less and can go further. Since it's a structural battery, the 4680 will contribute to the inflexibility and strength of the truck. With this new battery, Tesla can offer the semi-truck in 300 miles and 500 mile configurations. You would agree that this is more than adequate considering that more than 80% of truck trips are less than 500 miles. Tesla is well covered in that aspect. It also means that you get the option of choosing between the 300 mile configuration and the 500 mile configuration. As for the charging needs of the truck, the semi-truck will be perfect for freight on fixed routes. This means that the movement of raw materials or finished goods will be restricted to a particular course. The company has been making its employees use it daily. The trucks have been doing a good job of hauling cargo between its facilities. It's been running on California's Interstate 5 with its steep Tay Home Pass and out of state. Based on the information provided by the company, the semi-truck has also been used to haul the Model 3 sedan directly to their customers. So the question to ask would be how does the battery charge and how long does it take to get fully charged? The batteries used for the semi-truck would be huge and it's even expected that it will take longer to charge them as opposed to the regular batteries. However, Tesla is yet to disclose the capacities of the batteries for the two versions, though they have announced that the aim is to get batteries under 2 kilowatt hours of capacity per one mile of range. This means that the 300 mile version is about a 500 kilowatt hour battery pack while the 500 mile to 600 mile model will have 900 to 1,100 kilowatt hours. Now to the charging. Tesla has to find a way around charging these batteries fast enough, because if they don't charge fast enough, delivery schedules will be disrupted. And this is one thing you don't want to mess with as far as freight is concerned. The solution to this problem is the mega chargers. Tesla has created a supercharger that can deliver up to 250 kilowatt hours to their EVs, but that's nothing compared to what the semi truck will need. This is where the mega chargers come into play. These mega chargers are about seven feet tall and have big charging cables. The kilowatt an electric group recently released pictures of these chargers. The photos feature the charging units at PepsiCo's Frito-Lay facility in Modesto, California. According to reports, Tesla has started the installation of mega chargers in Modesto. The tall mega chargers are indeed mega as they can supply up to 1.5 megawatt hours to the semi truck. This means that the semi truck will take about 30 minutes to charge fully when using the mega charger. The charging requirements also help us understand some of the design decisions and intended use cases of the semi truck. The truck can only work at optimum capacity when running on a fixed route. That way, the mega chargers can be installed at both ends of the routes for a quick charge before embarking on another trip. This explains why the semi truck only has a day cabin for now. This also hints that Tesla isn't planning for days long operations for the semi truck at this stage. It's possible that with time, the mega chargers will become as common as the supercharger, and that can afford the semi truck regional trips. Elon Musk hinted that there would be a longer range semi truck soon, so the concerns about range will quickly fizzle out. Think about it. No one complains about the range of Tesla cars anymore. The semi-truck cabin is quite different from what other trucks offer. One of the prominent features would have to be the driver's placement. The driver's seat is placed at the truck's center instead of the usual side where you'd find a driver's seat. Talk about thinking outside the box. Tesla is indeed the mother of all exciting inventions. However, the driver's seat placement is not without its benefits. With a centralized driver's seat, there's improved driver visibility, which equals safer driving. Two screens are also attached to the dashboard on both sides of the driver's seat. Each of these screens displays feeds provided by the external cameras, allowing the driver to monitor his surroundings. This feature is a step further at preventing the semi-truck from getting into terrible accidents. In addition, the motors are also attached to the base of the tires, which can work independently to also prevent the truck from jackknifing. Jackknifing is a situation where a truck driver loses control of the truck because the trailer and the truck are braking at different speeds. 
The tires of the semi-truck have been programmed in such a way that it responds in real time when a situation like this occurs. The motors will adjust the trailer's speed to the truck's speed to counter the effect. The interesting thing about this feature is that the driver may not be aware of when a situation like this happens. Talk about real-time, hassle-free driving. You would agree that with all the specs noted, it's almost impossible not to switch from a diesel-powered truck to a Tesla semi-truck. But we know some people will still have their reservations. Do you think the semi-truck will become a common sight on the road in the next few years? Let us know in the comments section below.